Welcome to the movies, pal. Your friendly neighborhood master chaos here. I hope you're well. Come on in. It's been a while. I haven't seen you in the theater for quite some time, but I'm glad you're here. And I'm glad you've brought that luscious caboose with you. Don't worry, there's plenty of room for your train off to the side there. Put that there and uh, come grab a seat. Remember, I always have a seat saved for you. Today, we are talking about a Severin Films release. This is a new film. Well, I guess depending on when you see this review, but it's fairly new to be part of their halfway to Black Friday sale for 2022. And it starts one of my favorites, all time favorites, Brigitte Lahey. And I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm just going to call her Brigitte from now on. Uh, but this is the female executioner and you should stick around. If they sold a poster for this, I would buy the hell out of it. Uh, I am a massive fan of Brigitte. I think she's fantastic. Um, and um, I will pretty much watch anything she's in, uh, including this. I'd never heard of this film before. It's a French uh, thriller. And I'll go into details in a second. But let's admire this beautiful slip. Look at that. So you can catch that. Look at that fire. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it looks like a James Bond movie. Look at that shit. The back is matte, but it's very, very beautiful. Here she is in a sort of a, uh, I don't want to give anything away, but it's a decisive moment towards the end of the film. Uh, fantastic. Probably my favorite slip to come out of Severin. And it will feature in the Slippy Awards uh, coming at the end of this year. So stay tuned for that. Female Executioner. Look at that. Let's, let's take this out of here real quick. Because the packaging is as important as the film sometimes. This is the Amray. Here is the back of doodle do. Uh, you do get some special features. I'll address those in a minute. But for now, let's talk plot. Female Executioner runs one hour and 34 minutes. And first off, I have to mention the menu. It is a masterpiece and not family friendly, but master chaos friendly indeed. Because it features a long clip of Brigitte in a hot tub and... Thank you so much, Severn Films. Now, the film is presented in the original French and English dub. So for those of you who do not like to read, don't worry. You can hear some stranger voice the parts. And honestly, I prefer that. Brigitte plays Martine, a vice squad officer on the hunt for an illegal porn ring run by a local businesswoman who also happens to kidnap young girls for human trafficking. Now, there are a lot of interesting things in this movie, namely that Brigitte's character doesn't carry a loaded gun and that she's a playa. That's right, she beds random men whenever she wants. And best of all, unlike most Euro sleaze, this movie has an actual plot with a script that has connective tissues and characters that make sense and connect and deliver a worthwhile cinematic experience. Nothing is groundbreaking here, but it's a solid Polizia Techie movie made in France. Amazing, uh, unbelievable. A foreign movie that is, you know, of this ill-gate, exploitation-y, you know, genre-y kind of movie that has a good goddamn script. It has a great goddamn script. I mean, it, you know, again, like I said, it doesn't break ground, but it is a rewarding experience. Scenes matter. Stuff that you're watching will either pay off or will uh, offer something in terms of character development or story progression. One of my biggest problems with a lot of these foreign movies, and I'm not, I'm talking mainly Italian films. I mean, technically this is a French film, but with, with, with just foreign movies in general of this ilk of the grindhouse kind of thing, um, is that uh, a lot of time is wasted. We get a lot of fucking fluff, fodder, just waste of time scenes, people walking around, shots of the city, go fuck yourself, you're wasting my time, that kind of stuff. This movie wastes no time. Every scene is integral to the story. You know, it's a little thing, but it's an important thing that you are telling me. Here's the story. This is a time frame of, of, of events that make up a story. This is what the movie is. So you bring me in, you make me watch this, then you better have every moment matter. And this movie has every moment matter. And that doesn't happen in a lot of these movies. Fucking amazing. I, I think you already know where I'm leaning with this one, but hold on to your butts. So I got more to talk about and then I'll give you my rating. Engaging, exciting, and unpredictable. Unpredictability is something I look for in a movie, and having seen so many movies, as I'm sure you have, 
When a movie can surprise you, you know that feeling and it's a great goddamn feeling. This movie has so many shocking moments that further my appreciation for the script. And they were moments that were earned and connected to what we've seen before and not just there as shock value. The best thing, of course, is that you get actual character development. Events lead Brigitte's character to needing to carry a loaded weapon. And this earns her the title of the female executioner. This is absolutely a fantastic cops and robbers film that will have you hooked from beginning to end. Now, what about the nudity? Because Brigitte is known for her nudity. Uh, a film like Faceless with Jess Franco, she is not naked in, which is shocking. That's the most shocking thing about that movie. I don't know why that happened, but whatever. It is what it is. I'm not a big fan of that one, and I most likely won't be reviewing that. But uh, here, Brigitte is in full display. Uh, I don't want to say in every scene, but pretty much frequently. So, yes, you do get to see Brigitte uh, in her birthday suit. And happy birthday to all of us. As a matter of fact, this movie is going to inspire a new phrase in the Master Chaos lexicon, the Master Chaos Dictionary. Everyone knows TBYB. Try before you buy. Here's a new one. This film will give you boobatoid arthritis. That's right. There's so much good boobage on display. You're going to get boobatoid arthritis from watching this movie. And I'm not going to go into any details. I think you know what I mean by that. Oh my. Let's not beat around the bush, pal, and talk about the special features on this disc. First up, a 19-minute interview with the director, Michael Caputo and Brigitte. Uh, second, you get a two-minute location tour with the director and Brigitte, as well as a 44-minute short film starring Brigitte, which honestly, I didn't get a chance to watch, so I can't speak on whether it's worth your time or not. And to be completely honest, I probably will never watch it. Let's not dilly-dally, Pally. This is a five-star movie. I absolutely loved it, and I think you will too. As a matter of fact, this is probably my second favorite discovery to come out of Seven. Siege would be the first, and then Female Executioner. I think you're going to love it, and if you're considering getting it uh, during the sale, I would say it's worth full price, but if you want to wait till Black Friday and get it half off, go ahead. I think this slip is beautiful, and I don't think it's limited. So uh, I think you can wait, but in case you find out it's limited, you do want to get it. With, look at this beautiful thing. Oh, excellent slip. I love it. It's probably one of the best, in my opinion, probably the best they've put out um, ever. And not just because Brigitte's on it, but I hope we see more Brigitte in the Severn lineup. That would be amazing. But yes, five, five stars. I don't give a lot of five stars uh, to Severn releases. So you know I am bullshitting around when I say it's good. Wow, it's exquisite. I mean, it's just like, excellent. Now, if you noticed, I didn't really talk about the plot too much. I didn't want to give too much away, mainly because I want the movie to unfold for you in an organic, natural way. If I told you all the little bits and pieces, then you would be expecting them, or at least that part, would, that specialness would be broken for you. So I don't want to uh, get in the way of your experience with that movie, because I think it's worth it. And uh, I think you're honestly going to love it. Uh, so for now, my friend, it's time to close the theater down, unfortunately, and I have to send you on your way. But you're always welcome to come back. Remember, I always have a seat saved just for your keister and your caboose. Don't worry, it's still fine. It's over there. You should grab it, though, because, you know, other people bring their cabooses in here, and it's just like, I only have so much fucking room for trains. But anyway, you'll take it with you. For now, I'm going to grab this curtain, pull it across the silver screen, and bid you adieu. I wish you the best. But the theater's closed for now.